enjoy playing trivia games? I have a question for you. Which country in the world never had a male president? Barbados is the latest country to bid farewell to British monarchy and elected Dame Sandra Manson as their first ever president on November 30th, 2021. So the answer is Barbados. Barbados put in a big party to celebrate their new republic and invited Prince Charles and he came along too and partied with the Barbadians. Isn't it like inviting your ex to your divorce party? Inviting Prince to your party that you celebrate for becoming a republic? The conversation between London and Barbados would have been interesting. But I digress. Come along with me my friend. Let's learn about this country. That's why you click on this video, right? Barbados is an island nation part of the Windward Islands in the southern part of Les Antilles in the Eastern Caribbean region. Barbados is the most easterly of all Caribbean islands. It is located east of both St. Lucia and St. Vincent. Even though Barbados is considered a Caribbean island country, it is not on the Caribbean Sea. It is actually on the Atlantic Ocean. So technically, it's not a Caribbean country. But don't tell anybody that. Even the Barbadians don't accept that. Barbados is administratively divided into 11 parishes. St. George and St. Thomas are the two middle ones without any coastline. Bridgetown is the capital and the largest city, formerly known as Town of St. Michael. I cannot talk about Barbados without mentioning Rihanna. She was born and raised on the island and she frequently visited her home country and attended the celebration for becoming a republic. Barbados is tourist paradise, has some of the loveliest and most luxurious villas and vacation rentals in the world. The Barbados beach is beautiful. Snorkeling and surfing are very popular. You can even swim with turtles. Golfing is also popular with masterfully designed golf courses and perfect weather. You have been introduced to Barbados. Now let's go look at its flag and coat of arm first. This is Barbados flag. Do you like it? I do like their flag, particularly the shade of blue. It was officially unveiled on its Independence Day in 1966. The two bands of deep blue stand for the ocean surrounding the country and the sky. It is separated by a golden middle band represent the sand. The black trident head in the center has a symbolic meaning as well. The trident symbol was from Barbados colonial batch. The broken lower part symbolizes Barbados break with British colony. The three points in the trident represent the three principles of democracy, government of the people, government for the people, and government by the people. This is the coat of arms. The golden shield in the middle carries two Pride of Barbados. Yes, that's the name of the national flower, Pride of Barbados, and bearded fig tree. Both were very common on the island during the time of settlement. On the right side of the shield, a dolphin, symbolic of the fishing industry. On the left side is a pelican referring to a small island named Pelican of the main island. And it's been incorporated into the deep water harbor now. Above the shield is a helmet and mantling and hand holding two cross pieces of sugarcane, symbolic of the sugar industry. The cross itself referred to St. Andrew's Day and the Independence Day of Barbados, November 30th. At the bottom of the shield, on a scroll, national motto, pride and industry displayed. When Barbados cut ties with the British monarch and became a republic, I thought that Barbados might keep their flag, but they might update their coat of arms to make it current and uh, make the symbolism more meaningful to today's but they haven't i'm kind of surprised what do you think if you are a barbadian i would love to know what you think let me know in the comments below let's check out the physical geography of this country geography. 
Total area of this isolated pear-shaped island is about 430 square kilometers. The island is fringed with coral reefs. The island terrain is generally sloping with terraced plain and rolling hills. Elevation in the interior ranges between 180 to 240 meters above sea level. Mount Hillaby is the highest point at about 340 meters above sea level. 85 percentage of the island surface is made up of limestone of about 24 to 30 meters thick. The soil is very fertile but erosion is a big problem. There are no major rivers or lake on the island but there are small streams mostly in the northern part of the island. However, rain steeps through the soil and produces underwater cave systems like the famous Coles Cave. Barbados enjoy tropical climate like other Caribbean countries but better. A nice breeze throughout the year give a pleasant climate. The island experience two seasons, wet season from June to December, get noticeably higher rainfall and average temperature is from 23 to 31 degrees Celsius. Dry season run from December to May and the average temperature ranges from 21 degrees Celsius to 31 degrees Celsius. Island get about 1000 to 2300 millimeters of rain every year. Barbados is just outside the hurricane belt, however still vulnerable to earthquake, landslip and hurricane. The last significant hurricane to cause severe damage was Hurricane Janet in 1955. In 2010, it stuck by Hurricane Thomas but caused only minor damage. The archaeological evidence suggests that human may have first came into the island in around 1600 BC. A permanent settlement may have been established around 4th to 7th century AD by Salanoid and Barancoid people. Then there are plenty of evidence to suggest that Arawak dominated the island from 800 to 1200 AD and then the much fierce Caribs came into the island between 12th or 13th century and dominated Arawak and took control of the island. It is uncertain which European saw or came onto Barbados first. Some believe it was Spanish but most believe it was Portuguese in road to Brazil. The name Barbados was chosen by a Portuguese explorer, Pedro Compos. He named the island Los Barbados, means the bearded one. Not certain the inspiration of the name, but most believe it could be the bearded fig tree, but some believe it could be the Carib men with long beard. The island was largely ignored by the European in the early part of the colonization. The first English ship with settlers came in 1625 and the settlement began near the place now known as Holtown. Most English settlers came prior to mid-1630, were given 5 to 10 acres of land for farming. As all the land ran out, the next group of people got $10, usually in gold, after 5 years of labor. Then during the 1650s, large number of prisoners of war, vagrants and people were kidnapped from the streets and forcibly transported to the island and sold as servants. Most of the kidnapped victims were Irish. It was a big problem in Ireland and is known as being Barbados. So don't get Barbados, okay? The settlement was funded by Sir William Cotran, an English merchant. He purchased the title to Barbados and several other islands in the Caribbean. The colonists were tenant of Cotran and all the profit went to Cotran. A man named James Hay, he had some power in English court manipulated the system and everyone and got ownership of the island. This is called Great Barbados Robbery. Most of the settlers initially grow tobacco, cotton, ginger and indigo. Then the price of the tobacco skyrocketed and sugarcane industry started in 1640. The introduction of sugarcane industry is probably the single most important event in the history of Barbados. 
it completely transformed the society economy and the physical landscape of the island the sugar plantation needed large investment and a great deal of heavy labor jewish people expelled from the iberian peninsula were instrumental in successfully setting up the sugarcane industry the sugar plantations grew from small farm to big commercial plantations lots of african slaves were imported in 1644 the population of barbados was only 30000 with 800 african descent by 1660 there were 27000 blacks and 26000 white by the 1680 there were 20000 whites and 46000 enslaved africans by 1724 there were 18000 whites and 55000 african descent as the population of slave grew they were able to organize and show the rebellions largest one was busa's rebellion in 1860 this was crushed by the british troops but the opposition to slavery grew and was abolished in 1833 By 1820 sugar prices started to go down and the profit decreased and many white families left the island things got worse from there in 1930 during the great depression barbadians demanded change and in 1938 a reform was introduced as a result afro barbadians began to play a much more prominent role in colonies politics Barbados joined the short-lived West Indies Federation from 1958 to 1962 later gained full independence on November 30th 1966 but the island chose to remain a constitutional monarchy with Queen Elizabeth as Queen of Barbados People and culture People of Barbados is called Barbadians or Bajans The population is about 287,000. Most of the Barbadians are blacks, about 92% of them. 3% of them are mixed, 3% of the population is white, 1% represent the South Asians, the remaining 1% of the population is from many other countries including East Asia and Middle East. As far as the religion goes, most of them, about 76% of the population is Christians, 3% follow a non-Christian religion, and 21% of them doesn't follow any religion at all. English is the official language used in formal settings. Barbados English is not exactly same as the British English. Bajan and English Creole is spoken by most on everyday life, especially in an informal settings. Bajan may be completely unintelligible to English speakers from other countries. The life expectancy in Barbados is about 80, but it has one of the highest per capita centenarians. It's about 40 people over the age of 100 per every 100,000 people. Barbados literacy rate, meaning that people who can read is closer to 100 percentage. It has the highest rate of all of North America. You heard me right, it is higher than any other country in the Americas. Barbados culture is a blend of West African, Portuguese, Caribbean, Indian and British. Crop over in Barbados is the most anticipated event of the year. The largest carnival like cultural festival take place in all of July. It will have ceremonial delivery of the sugar cane indicating end of the growing season for that year. The festival also include music competitions and other traditional activities and features majority of the island's homegrown calypso and soga music. The male and female Barbadians who have as the most sugar cane are crowned as king and queen of the crop. Barbados is considered by some as the culinary capital of the Caribbean. One of the benefit of melting pot of cultures is that incredibly diverse culinary scene. 
A typical meal consists of main dish of meat or fish marinated in herbs and spices cooked to perfection usually served with hot side dishes salads and sauce the national dish is flying fish served with cuckoo in a spicy gravy Barbados produces the world oldest rum the Mount Grey rum claimed to be the world oldest remaining rum company with the earliest confirmed date of 1703 every october the island hosts a food and rum festival it attract many visitors as far as the sport goes cricket is very popular the west indies cricket team usually have several barbadian players rugby basketball polo horse racing and volleyball are also very popular Barbados is one of the richest country in the Caribbean. It has well developed mixed economy and pretty good standard of living. However, according to World Bank, 17% of the Barbadians live in poverty. Historically, the economy depended on sugarcane cultivation, but since the early 1980s, it has diversified into manufacturing and tourism sectors. Currently, Offshore financing and information technology are the two main important sectors earning foreign exchange. Barbados keep its currency value tied to US dollars since 1975. Two Barbadian dollar is equal to one US dollar. About 40 acres or 37 percentage of the total land is classified as arable. Ground crops such as yams, sweet potatoes, cassava are grown for local consumption and export. They also grow other vegetables for local consumption. Government intensifies farming in the hope of reducing expensive food imports and increase food security. However, inadequate rainfall and lack of irrigation has prevented from the development of large scale agricultural activities tourism is crucial to the economy over 13000 people work in tourism and more than 1 million people visit the island every year about half of them stay overnight and the other half is from the cruise international businesses and financial services sectors continue to be an important contributor to the economy of barbados and the government welcome foreign investments we have covered a lot of ground in this video so we looked at the flag coat of arm geography climate history people and culture and economy there is so much more to this country than what i covered but i don't want to take the video an hour long So, I hope you enjoy watching this video and if you did, please subscribe. I am going one country at a time and going through the list of North American countries and the Caribbean countries. Then I am going to go on to South America soon. So, what did you like about Barbados? Have you been to Barbados or do you live in Barbados? I love to hear from you. The next country on my list is Grenada. If you are watching all the way to this you must like this video. So please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.